welcome back to Mom and Jess Moment Talk Show, an interesting episode in our single series. So the topic for today is waiting on God for a life partner. Very interesting. So better sit back, grab your cup of coffee, tea, or whatever you got there, juice, and catch up with Dr. Rhoda. By the way, before I start, I would like to let you know that she just got married recently. So you guys out there, please, oh, she is taking. Okay, let's get that clear before we start. <laughs> yes, yeah, so she's displaying the rings. I hope you see she's got a ring. She's got a ring on. Uh, she, how did they say it again? She has a ring on it. Ah, <laughs> she's got a ring on it. Yeah. So guys, as we're saying. Relax and catch up with um, Dr. Rhoda. Yeah, welcome to Mom and Jess. Thank you. Talk show. I'm glad to have you, and we're happy that you availed yourself in this very terrible weather. Yeah, yeah, thank you for coming around. So let's hit the show, Dr. Rhoda. We'll start by asking, what does the Bible say about waiting on God for a life partner? Hmm. Uh, the Bible is very clear on mm -hmm. waiting, and for me, there were so many passages that stood out for me while I was waiting for my husband for me the first one was jeremiah 29 11, hmm. which speaks about god's very best plans for me absolutely if he has my best at heart hmm. then i know he has the very best for me when he says the best it means the best the best so for me while waiting i held on to jeremiah 29 11. i also held on to isaiah 26 3 which spoke about being in perfect peace once my heart is stayed on him. Oh, now, what does it mean to stay? It means to wait. To right? wait. Guys. To stay on him. To wait on him. Waiting is not easy. Hmm. We want to keep busy. We want to get ourselves in control. We want to be in charge. But God tells you, just wait. Hmm. I have a plan for you. Let me do what I am doing, right? Hmm. And hmm. also, another verse that stood out for me was uh, Habakkuk 2.3 which spoke about the vision being for an appointed time. Hmm, I love that. For an appointed time. The time that. has been marked out. Hmm. It will not go beyond that time. Hmm. It will not come before, before that, that time. time. It is for a particular period of time. Hmm. So it's very important that we hold on to God's word while we wait. It's not easy waiting. It's not easy. It is I, not. I can tell you that it's, it's not, not easy. easy. But God's word is clear. Hmm. And whenever that drops, on our hearts mm. or whichever way God speaks to us is it's very important that we hold on to it so that okay. we know we are keeping busy refreshing our minds you know reminding ourselves of his promises, promises. while we are waiting while we are waiting yeah so that being said um you there's something that hit me about what you just said that it's very important for us to you know pay attention to what the word of God says mm -hmm. especially with those scriptures that you have just mentioned mm -hmm. so why is it important because there are people that make that mistake their friends are rushing to get married they feel desperate probably there's pressure from the family mm. african viewers i'm sure you can relate <laughs> when a lady gets to a certain stage it's like more or less your parents want you out of the home you know mm. sad to say but um that pressure and stress can make a lady you know anything any guy that comes around you know she jumps at it not really minding mm. whether it is god's time or not mm. so that being said why is it important to wait on god well like it goes back to the first point when mm. god says he has the best for you mm. why would you want to settle for less mm. so it is very important that we wait okay so that we do not miss it mm. because the truth is beyond the ethnic companionship of a spouse mm. we are both running for uh the end of of it life all. of it all which mm. is eternity mm. so it is very important that we don't miss that step that step because I mean, before I got married and all that, there were so many uh, people, you know, giving me advices and all, telling me, you know, if you miss it in marriage, mm, you know, it. life is miserable, mm. you know, it affects your work with God and all. So it's mm. very important, most importantly for our work with God. It is really not, it is even beyond the ethnic companionship. Mm. It is beyond the earthly pleasure of having somebody. If you miss it in marriage, it will definitely affect your work with God. And hmm. At the end of it all, the important thing is that you can stand before the throne of mercy and you hear good and faithful servants. Hmm. So it's important that you don't miss it in life. And of course, beyond the spiritual, um, it also affects the physical. Even the physical. You miss it. 
Mm, you see mm. people dying of depression, mm. people who are suicidal. You know, you can't enjoy your life because you are stuck in, in that in, in terrible marriage. So it's okay. important that we actually wait and we don't miss it. So now, how do you know when is the right time? Oh, how do you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> because you keep waiting, and as you've said, yes. you know, God's time is always the best, isn't mm -hmm. it? So when do you know that it's God's time? When, when, what, what are the signs you see? Signs? Well, mm. from my experience, I, I didn't... I, I don't know if there is a particular time where you know, okay, now I am mm. 24, now I am 29, I have to get married. <laughs> it's beyond your age. It's beyond... It's beyond what you have planned for yourself. It is for you to have that peace of mind, like I, like I said earlier on, mm. Isaiah 26, uh, verse 3. It says you have peace. When you have that peace, peace. when everything starts to fall in place, place. That's a then you know. Mm. Then mm. you know. For me, truth be told, my husband has been on my case for two, three years. Wow. The first time it's I said no. <laughs> the second time I made him proper meal. I'm like, sit down, let's talk. I fed him and I told him, I'm not ready. I don't think we are meant for ourselves. And I remember what he told me that day. He was like, the person you marry, the person may be all over, mm -hmm. the person may be around the world, or the person may be the person sitting in front of you. I'm like, oh. this guy just doesn't give up. And then oh. they called at him. That was the time for me. That was the time I knew that he was that right God person. had already settled everything for me. So it's important not to rush it mm -hmm. because, like I said, like uh, the, the verse in the scripture, Habakkuk 2 3, mm -hmm. it says for an appointed time. Mm -hmm. He came to me in 20, my husband came to me in 2017. I said no. He came in 2018. I said no. He came back in 2019. It was really persistent. I patient you. Yes. Oh. So for me, 2019 was my appointed time. 2017 was not. 2018 was, was not. not. So it's, it's just important that you know how God deals with you. That is how you get to know your own. Very interesting. Time. Yeah. Dr. Roda, please, I want to know. Um, during this period of time, he was proposing and you were denying. No, no, no. <laughs> you know, we Nigerians, especially, we like feel like a hot cake. <laughs> <laughs> so it actually it actually makes the guy you know as if it puts more energy and drive for him to like I want this I want to go for it. So I, I think that was part of the game you were playing, isn't it? <laughs> you know, well, I wasn't doing hard to get okay. because it, for me, I feel a lady doing hard to get will still have like some form of feelings, feelings and emotions for the other person, but okay. didn't have any feelings. For it. Okay, not at all. So for me, it wasn't uh, it wasn't about playing hard. I just I just didn't think it was the right, the right time. I didn't think we were compatible. This was someone who I had... I didn't really like him then. So <laughs> can't you just leave me and And now? And now? Oh my goodness. Ah. I love to hear this kind of story. It's so interesting. <laughs> and now I'd like to ask my final question. In the process of... Um, the, from the 2017 up until when you finally you know, said yes, did God reveal any sort of thing to you? Because some people actually, God actually reveals the face or something, you mm -hmm. know, to give them, you know, a conviction. So did you get some sort of revelation to that aspect? Or? I didn't get anything of revelation. Okay. So some people have like the specifics, mm -hmm. like the exact pictures. I mm -hmm. didn't have that. Okay. But for me, it's, it's just boiled down to those passages of the scripture. Okay, which you held on I to. I had peace. Mm. I knew God had the best for me, mm. and I knew the vision was for a particular point of time. time. Yes. Okay. So, when that happened in 2019, we we set out, we prayed. I had my peace, and for me, I, I got to a point where I was like, God, if this is for me, mm. then let it just work out according to your will. And mm. everything yeah. found out. I, it wasn't like there were no challenges, right? Mm. But you know when God is involved, mm. when God is in your boat. And hmm. there's a storm. Peace, guys. Peace. You Absolute peace. The boat will not capsize. Mm. Because the place of peace is in it's that there boat. with you. So that you will not, you're not oh. capsize. Dr. Roda, please give the viewers a take home. <laughs> there are single people watching. <laughs> okay. Advice, if they are waiting For those of you spouse. watching, waiting, mm. trusting God, please keep waiting. The truth is, waiting is not easy. Mm. You know, you go to 
if you have a doctor's appointment, they're told to wait in the waiting room. Waiting room. Mm -hmm. You, it, it's not right for you to jump the queue because your file is laid out in uh, in a particular way. manner. Mm -hmm. Yes. So the name of the patient before you and the name of the patient behind you will not tally with your own symptoms and mm -hmm. and your own uh, yes, your own medical conditions. That's in the medical world. I'd like to relate this also to the spiritual. You cannot go ahead of God. Just mm. wait patiently. Mm. Understand how God deals with you. Understand how He walks with you. Understand how He talks to you. And if you perhaps do not have a, a solid relationship or you don't know how He does, so that you can like have an understanding of who is preparing for you, it's not too late for you to begin now. You can mm. start, you know. Uh, working out your salvation with fear and trembling, Amen. you know, soaking yourself in the word, praying, fellowshipping with believers, mm. and sharpening your spirit so that you can be discerning, you can be sensitive. Because the truth is, the devil will always come with a counterfeit, mm. right? Something that looks like it, but it is but it's not, not it. it actually. So it's very important that you are discerning. And please just wait, just hold on. Whatever word God gives you, in any way speaks to you. Hold Just on hold to on it. to it and you'll have your testimony. Thank you so yeah, much, yeah. Dr. Mrs. Roda Patrick. <laughs> I, I I really appreciate I really appreciate your commendations and uh, you know for the viewers. Viewers, I have nothing much to say. Just as Dr. Mrs. and Mrs. Roda Patrick has said, I would love to reiterate her point about jumping the gun. When you're in the waiting room, for example, you don't jump your queue, you don't jump the con. Seek the face of God, seek direction from the Holy Spirit. And I tell you, if you do that genuinely, the Spirit of God will speak to you. Hold on to the Word of God. Look for those anchor scriptures that will speak to your life. Mm -hmm. Hold on to them. And I tell you, your time of decoration will come very soon. Mm -hmm. This is to all singles out there watching. Take care and see you next time. Bye. Bye.